Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are doing well. Today's video is going to be, y'all know I like to install my wigs. Y'all know I like to um, do like the wig reviews and stuff, but today we're just gonna do a little bit different. Lately, I've just been feeling not ugly, but just like haven't been feeling that cute. So I just decided to take this weekend and really just make myself feel nice because i just been looking real plain jane lately love me hair was so kind and they sent me this wig this is their undetectable invisible lace water wave 13 by 4 frontal lace wig with real hd lace so this is the wig i asked them to send me 26 inches I believe this is about 26 inches it looks pretty long and of course the pattern isn't all the way in here because i had to bleach it and pluck the hairline i'm just going to be installing it and putting it on my head and then you'll be able to see like the true texture and everything of the wig i'm gonna go ahead and braid my hair back and then i'll be right back all right guys i have braided my hair down with the straight backs first things first we're gonna slick back our edges Now we're going to take our wig cap. Y'all know this already, but I'm just trying to do this video a little bit more personable, like a vlog style, than me just doing my same old voiceovers every single time. And then we're going to cut some ear holes. looking good looking good i'm gonna be using some of my got to be spray to lay down the cap um and this can was almost on its last leg like it was literally barely coming out but we was able to work with it so that's what we do for the first step and then i just apply some glue as well all right so now that i got that um drying i'm just gonna go ahead and again and I'm just going to go ahead and sew this cap around where I'm going to have scalp. So I like to really get these ear tabs because they tend to lift up. So I'm going to start here. I believe this is dried enough, but I'm just going to make sure. Let's cut this cap off so we can be bald headed. So what I do, I like to just mix colors until I get the right thing because I honestly don't know what my shade is. I don't really wear foundation. So yeah, the one that I got is kind of too light. So I just mix it until, until it looks right. So I literally be like mixing all this stuff, all these colors till I get the right one. Hey, what a man. He said... Yeah, Boom, I'm bald. Just had to add that concealer to lighten it up because you want it to be you want it to be the same color as your skin. And I always say that because I messed up before and had some ashy looking laces because I'm thinking it need to be light. <laughs> 
but it doesn't so now that i got the makeup on i'm just gonna put take the xx makeup i'm just gonna take some of the makeup off that you know is on my skin because you want the glue that can kind of mess up the glue from adhering the lace to your scalp and then i'm also going to apply the foundation on the inside of my lace i love when wigs have this little bra strap thing and what i really like about this wig is that the bra the strap starts on the lace right here so it's gonna tug down on your ear tabs and make it secure so this could definitely be glueless if you wanted it to be Damn. Watch this, just like this. Just like that. i think that looks pretty good Tackling this. Yeah, it's always easier. Don't rush. Just kind of do it in sections. So I'm gonna have I'm gonna have a middle and two side sections. All right. So now this is pretty much dry. I'm gonna go ahead and lay it on our. Here I'm just going to be using some spritz to lay down the lace before I put the elastic band on. Now that it has had time to dry, I'm going to be cutting it off with my razor. Um, and the little hairs I took out is just for me trying to create my hairline, trying to mimic it a little bit better. Um, so that's what I did. I'm just going to be cutting off the lace. I had a little bit of extra glue, so I'm just going to be taking an alcohol pad to get it off. Just be careful with this so that way you don't take the lace that you just laid down off. You just want to take the extra glue off that you don't need. I'm just going to be hot combing the wig down in sections to really get a flat root. And I'm just going to take my wax stick and some Gatsby spray um, and then hot comb it down um, until um, I get the desired um, parting that I want. I'm doing a side part for this wig and also um, the company wants me to um, first do the hair with minimal to no baby hairs. So I'm going to show you how that looks at first with no baby hairs whatsoever. Um, this lace is so nice and so natural. You don't necessarily need baby hairs or you could do it really lightly. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to show you both different ways you can style the wig and how it looks once it's all styled and everything. I'm just using water and mousse to activate the waves and this pattern is so pretty if you don't want it to be if you want a wig that's not like not too curly and vol voluminous um this is super nice because it just gives you that natural wave look like that wet and wavy look it's super pretty and i'm just gonna dry it a little bit so you really see how beautiful this texture is and everything can we just really take a second to appreciate this hair it is absolutely gorgeous full throughout i love this texture like it's definitely water wave it's not kinky curly it's not curly it's giving a wave and i just i love it y'all like i don't even have no baby hairs in yet and i'm actually gonna take photos for them with my hair like this because they prefer um they prefer the photos to be without baby hairs or like um, very natural looking ones. So let me go ahead and do that really quick and then I'll jump back on and then we'll do the baby hairs. But y'all, this wig is so pretty. It's absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Look at that pattern. Look at the HD lace. It's definitely 
super super pretty now that i did my baby hairs i'm just going to show you guys how i style this hair for nighttime i'm just going to add in um some water and a little bit more mousse but you don't want the hair to be drenched you want it to be damp and then you just put them in braids and in the morning the texture is beautiful Okay guys, it is the next day. So I used some of this oil. Um, it's coconut milk anti-breakage serum from OGX. You guys see how pretty that texture is? And that would just help you to, say y'all go to work in the morning or something, this right here will just help you, help styling and you don't have to go out the house with wet hair. We're getting ready to go to the nail salon. Hopefully it's open. I never been to this one, so we're gonna see if it's open. I'm sure it will be open though. If not, I'll be going somewhere else. Okay. Boom. And that, my friends, is how you wake up and go. Well, almost wake up and go but you know what i mean it's pretty much wake up and go you just gotta um take these braids out and you're good to go like this looks really really pretty natural wavy te texture it just gives like that effortless look now let's go wake up leah so we can get her ready and go to the nail salon so we all um slept on the couch last night so that's why leah is down here we had like a little um we had like a little slumber party. Isn't she so cute when she sleeps? <laughs> Wanna go get our nails done? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna show y'all a picture kinda of what I want to do. Um it's on my phone upstairs. Is that my phone right there? No, that's Steven's phone. Mm -hmm. so I'm gonna go get my phone and kinda show y'all. Or maybe I'll show y'all in the car of what I want to do. Alright guys, so we just pulled up to the nail salon. And um, this is going to be my first time here. So we'll see how well they do. I'm not getting nothing too crazy. So it shouldn't be that difficult to achieve. So let's go ahead and go in here. And yeah. Two, on, only pick two colors. Okay. So you want these two? Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Let's go. Now I, I gotta pick mine out. Okay. Oh, I found brown. Look, brown. Okay. Oh, so cute. cute. <laughs> yeah. So we got our nails done. The color is cute, but I, I don't know what is wrong with me. Like I just need to speak up. Like. This lady, I sh I'm going to show y'all a picture of what I wanted and how I wanted it. And then I'm going to show y'all my nails. So she keeps talking about, oh yeah, I do half on the two nails that I wanted half on. So I was like, okay, yeah, that's what I want. But she kept saying, yeah, I bling bling, I put a little... I was trying to tell her like, no, I'm okay. And then she just went ahead and did this design anyway with this... Like I'm freaking in high school or something with like this little swirl. It don't look terrible, but for somebody who don't get their nails done that often, you know, I want them to be how I, I wanted it to be how I wanted them to be. Not like, I don't want no bling bling, no whatever she was saying. I didn't want that. Hey, what's up guys? Um, as you can see, here are my nails and um i'm getting ready to get i'm getting ready to get dressed and i'm going to a birthday party that is coachella themed so that's what i'm getting ready to get dressed for now i'm gonna do my makeup lashes and i guess i'll just pop in as i go just to show you guys how i look and everything so yeah let me go ahead and start that process So this right here is the final look. As you can see, this is the hair. 
the makeup. And I really love it. So well, I hope you guys um, enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, um, if you want to check out this wig, I'll have everything linked down below for you to go check out. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy like this little vlog. Um, I really love how this turned out. And this hair is like you can wear it. You can wear it with everything. So that's what I really love about it. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.